coronary arteries are the arteries that surround the heart and provide the heart muscles with the nutrients and oxygen it needs. The particular disease that affects these arteries that we need to know of is the coronary heart disease. Now, coronary heart disease is defined as the blockage of the coronary artery with plaque, uh, which is just a deposit of lipid in the coronary artery as depicted here. Now there are many consequences of this disease, which includes reduced blood flow to the heart tissue, which causes reduced supply of oxygen and nutrients to heart tissue, and it also reduces the removal of waste substances such as carbon dioxide from the heart tissue, which would lead to the death of the heart tissue, hardened artery walls, blood clots, and high blood pressure. So as you can see, many of these consequences explain each other. Now there are many risk factors for CHD, which include smoking, stress, a diet that is high in sodium and lipids, which is obviously unhealthy, as well as genetic factors. Gender and age can play a role too, as males have higher risks of having this disease, and older people have a higher risk of getting this disease as well. Now there are several methods of prevention, two of which you really need to know, which are just moderate and regular exercise, as well as a healthy diet that has a moderate amount of lipids and a moderate amount of salts. Now you do need to know about the ways in which this is treated and the first way would be to use an angioplasty and stent and this is basically just when a deflated balloon with a stent around it which is basically just a mesh of metal it is inserted into the body into the vessels until it reaches the region in the coronary artery that has the plaque and then once it is in there, the balloon is then inflated, which expands the stent or the mesh of metal, which then pushes the plaque against the wall of the arteries so that it cannot block blood flow anymore. And then this balloon is removed from the coronary artery. You are left with something like this, just the stent pushing against the plaque so that blood flow is not blocked. And another method would be angioplasty, and it is basically when the stent is not used. So the balloon just comes in, gets inflated like here, and then it is removed. But as you can see, the flaw with that method is that there's nothing to keep the plaque in its position. So then the plaque wouldn't be constantly pushed against the wall of the coronary arteries. Another method would be bypass, and this is basically just taking a blood vessel from another part of the body and then attaching that vessel surgically to the part above or below the part that has been blocked with plaque, which then allows the blood flow to flow from the aorta here straight to this part to get to the heart tissues, instead of having to go through this part to the heart tissues where it will be blocked somewhere here. So yeah, that basically allows an alternative route for the blood to flow to the heart tissues. And it is a similar case here. This one is a surgery that involves using an artery from another part of the body, and this one involves using a vein from another part of the body. Although it is likely that you won't be given specifically arteries or veins. So, a summary. Coronary heart disease is when the coronary arteries are blocked by a lipid deposit or plaque. And risk factors include smoking, diet, stress, genetic predisposition, gender, and age. A healthy diet and a regular and moderate exercising schedule could help decrease these risks. CHD can be treated by using painkillers such as aspirin or surgery, so angioplasty, angioplasty with stents, and bypass like I've described. If left untreated, CHD can lead to reduced blood flow to heart tissues, which could lead to a heart attack, i.e. the death of heart tissues as well as hardening of artery walls, blood clots in the coronary arteries, and high blood pressure. And none of these are good, so it's better to get it checked up and treated. Thank you so much for watching. If this has been helpful to you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comments below.